That was going to read some of her high school. The first one I'll read is the only published collaboration between Jack and me. Walking to breakfast, Jack exclaims, wow, Portchester, fennel in the rain, which is also the title poem of a little book of Jack's work in my book, uh, published by um, Catherine, Catherine Hastings. Hastings. I'm just Word looking Temple. for her. <laughs> Word, Word. Oh, there you are, of Ward Temple. Okay. I told 9-11 he lay on the street, eyes closed, probably breathing. Seagulls overhead, the remains of corn muffins, moisture on my face, the swish of car tires, a large drop of rain on my head, the scent of wet grass, blonde hair and cornrows side by side on the BART train, each deep in her book. This one is called 17th Street Club. Lined up each morning in front of the coffee shop, the Cannabis Club. My friend bought buns there until the day the police raided the small club. The owner told the cop, she's here for pastry. The cop nodded, let her go. Another friend stopped for coffee. They said, for that you can cut in line. When they protested, broke windows in stores on 17th, no one touched that shop. This one is a link haiku sequence. It's called 60 Years Later After the Internment Camps. They were our neighbors, torn from our community. How could this happen? How could this happen? Nurseries and barber shops sold at bargain rates. Sold at bargain rates. Please take the horse and chickens and the fields left fallow. And the fields left fallow, crying for children's laughter, young lovers meeting. Young lovers meeting near barbed wire, guard towers, boredom and hot dust. Boredom and hot dust. Faded memories, at last, soft voices speaking. Soft voices speaking to those who did not witness utter disbelief, utter disbelief. It will not happen this time. They are our neighbors. And finally, the title poem of my book of haiku, Learning to Shave, Father Teaching Son for Our Son Sean, obviously written quite a long time ago. A nick on the jaw, the razor's edge of manhood, along the bloodline. Thank you.